Assalamualaikum and good morning children. This week, in week 29, we will learn about renewable and non-renewable energy. At the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to explain with examples renewable and non-renewable energy sources through observation using various media. As introduction, energy sources can be classified into renewable and non-renewable energy sources. Michael and Jesse are at the beach. After playing in the water for some time, they run towards their food on a mat. They eat the food that they brought to get the energy to continue playing. Besides food, there are also other energy sources we can find around us. Energy can also come from the sun, the wind, the waves, and also the plants. These energy sources never run out. The sun will rise again tomorrow. The wind will blow every day and the waves never stop moving. They are renewable energy sources. What is renewable energy? Renewable energy is energy generated from sources that are always available and easily replaced. Sources of renewable energy include the sun. The sun's energy is used to heat water using solar water heaters and to produce electricity using solar panels. The energy from the wind is used to turn windmills to pump water and grind grains into flour. It is also used to turn wind turbines that produce electricity. The energy from water is used to produce electricity. Hydroelectric power stations use flowing water from the dams built across the rivers. Wave generators in the sea are driven by sea waves. Biomass in the form of plant and animal wastes is burned to produce heat. What is renewable energy? Renewable energy comes from available and replaceable sources. Renewable energy sources never run out. Renewable energy is also called green energy because it causes little to no pollution. Renewable energy from sources that, that are always available, from sources that are easily replaced, from sources that never run out, also called green energy. Sources of renewable energy. Number one, sun. Solar energy heats water and produces electricity. This is solar panels and solar water heaters. It will change solar energy into electricity. Number two, wind. Wind energy turns windmills to pump water and green grain into flour. It turns wind turbines to produce electricity. This is wind turbines. Another source of renewable energy is water. Water is always available and is used in hydroelectric power stations to produce electricity. Number four, biomass. Plant and animal waste produce heat when they burn. Number five, food. Living things eat food to produce energy. Another source of renewable energy is wave. Waves exist naturally and produce energy. Advantages of renewable energy. Number one, it cannot be used up. Number two, it creates less pollution. Lynn is watching her mother cooking in the kitchen. 
While cooking, the fire dies out. Lynn says, Oh no, the gas has run out. Her mother says, Don't worry, Mom will just replace the empty gas cylinder with this spare cylinder that's full. Lynn thought for a moment and then asks, Will the whole world ever run out of gas? Yes, it is possible. Natural gas was formed from the remains of living organisms millions of years ago. It is not made by man, so it will run out once it is used up. It is a non-renewable energy source. Layers of sediment covering the remains of animals and plants build up through the years. Under high pressure and high temperature, the remains were transformed into natural gas, petroleum, and coal. These fuels are called fossil fuels. In power plants, coal is used to generate electricity. The heat from burning coal is used to boil water. The steam turns a turbine that rotates a generator. The electricity produced is sent through the power grid. We need to use non-renewable fuels wisely. Coal and petroleum are also called dirty fuels. They pollute the environment. Burning coal and petroleum gives off smoke and harmful gases. Fossil fuels are used for cooking, moving vehicles, and generating electricity. Another non-renewable energy source is called uranium. It is dangerous because it gives out harmful radiation. In nuclear power stations, uranium is used to generate electricity. What is non-renewable energy? Non-renewable energy is energy from sources that can run out. Energy from sources that cannot be replaced when they are used up. Sources of non-renewable energy such as coal. The remains of plants from a million years ago form coal. Petroleum. The remains of plants and animals from a million years ago form petroleum. Natural gas. The remains of plants and animals from a million years ago form natural gas. Another example of sources of non-renewable energy is nuclear material. It's called uranium. Solid rad radioactive metal that can be found in nature. Uranium. Now we go to generation of electricity. This is example process of how to generate electricity. Coal or natural gas is used as fuels in some power plants. The heat from burning, burning fuels is used to boil water. The steam turns a turbine that rotates a generator. The steam turns a turbine that rotates a generator. The electricity produced is sent through the power grid. Importance of using energy wisely. Most of energy we use today comes from non-renewable energy sources, such as wind, solar, wind, wave. To ensure that we have sufficient energy sources in future, we need to use the energy wisely. How to use energy wisely? We can open windows to let fresh air come inside the house or we can use bicycles or walk when going to nearby places. If energy sources are used wisely, we will be able to let energy last longer. We can reduce environmental pollution. Number three, we can avoid energy wastage. And number four, we can save money.
Okay, children, that's all for this week. I hope you all will understand what we are learned today and try to answer the question in quizzes. That's all. Thank you.